Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Jim Boone, senior producer on Citro 4. We're going to show you some parts of the E3 demo. And one of the first things that you're going to see is one of the early missions and the triumphant return of Ben King. He is your chief of staff. This is a prop. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest Super Bowl. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I think we're in trouble. King, can you hear this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. I'm more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Where's a septic truck when you need one? Here you'll see that Kinsey is the press secretary for the White House. The president's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for? And I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. No, not you two. How many times do we have Asha to- Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right, I'll swing by after I... Here we see Zinya, who's the leader of the Zin Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a time for fear, but a time for celebration. Today, the best and brightest among you will find salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kinsey, no! <laughs> I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? Splendid. Get off me! Now it's time for the president to go arm himself, so he's gonna make his way to the Oval Office. I told them we should have a gun every five steps. Every five steps, I said. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All our war, by the looks of it. Fortunately, the president is well equipped to be able to handle this threat, with a few modifications to the Oval Office. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Be careful. Here, spin! We gotta move! Shit, players! Save yourself! Fuck that! Save me! Unfortunately, the president's allies are slowly being abducted. The president's gonna have to make his way through to try to rescue them if he can. Here we're seeing more members of the Zen. These are the, the standard grunts that you'll fight throughout the game. Easy to take out one by one, but in groups they can be challenging. Leave my country alone! Holy shit, how many of you are there? Bird to Ernie, Bird to Ernie. Activate South Portico defenses. Let's do this, you beautiful thing. And now we're gonna pull out one of our secret weapons, the White House turret. Come get a taste! Don't worry, everyone loses to me. I'll shoot down every last one of you! What?
lawns enjoy leaping so much. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. I'm gonna hang you over the fireplace, you alien fuck! Now, now. Not so far. You. Now we're going to jump forward into the game and show you what it's like to have superpowers. And here you're seeing the player set in Steelport. This is a virtual version of Steelport, allowing you to bend the rules to gain these superpowers. One of the first things we're going to show is one of our new moves called Death From Above, for obvious reasons. Moving through the city with superpowers is a lot of fun. We're going to use that to get to the flashpoint up ahead. Now we're going to introduce a couple of new offensive superpowers that we haven't shown before. This first one is called Buff. Anyone within close proximity to the player will be set on fire, and all the rounds that the player shoots are now incendiary rounds. We're also going to introduce a new ability called Stomp. It sends out a concussive blast that will knock enemies flying. Another one of our fun new weapons that we're introducing is the Black Hole Launcher. And it works exactly like it sounds. Now you're about to see the Laser Sword, one of the new weapons that we've introduced at E3. This is a deadly weapon in close proximity. And if purple isn't your favorite color, there's a number of different ones to choose from as each weapon has different weapon skins and costumes that you can select. That's why I get paid the big bucks. So now you're going to see clusters and they're scattered throughout the world and are a ton of fun to find. And the best part about these is that you'll be able to use these to upgrade your superpowers and we've seen people spend hours doing this. With the introduction of superpowers in Saints Row 4, it allows us to have a really interesting twist in all the new activities that we have in the game. And now we're going to see a new one called Blazon. The goal here is to be able to go through and collect the green orbs that will give you a speed boost, while at the same time trying to avoid the flames. It's a very addictive way to be able to navigate through the world. And next we're going to introduce another new activity to St. Row 4. This is called Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder. The Professor is back. This is a really fun activity to be able to use your telekinesis power with. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. Our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis, but they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. 